Nothing. About half, <laughs> about half a song. Yeah. yeah, we did half a song. I was, but the thing is, the the whole the whole writing process it's like a, it's per, it's totally percolation process. You, 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 you the we sat down and we tried it, and it's very noisy when you're you, when you're moving in a bus, and it's just like, and it's, it's moving around, and um, so, but um, the, the whole experience has been so. Um, Enriching so that that that, that it will f- whatever this has happened in the, the past, you know, thirty four days or so, will fa- will no, will find its way in. But it, it's, I think, life experience kind of feeds the whatever it is you put out. So when I sit down to sort of write again, it'll be, it'll be, it'll have been worth it. You know, that's my excuse anyway. <laughs> no, we're just lazy bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. I write like I should. Beep. In a quiet space with nobody that can hear me or see me or smell me, and um, and it's kind of like I, I don't. It's it's weird. It's very similar to that. It's because you know you're you kind of um, takes a lot of concentration, <laughs> and if you hear and if you hear yeah you push it out, and if you hear anyone, it just it, 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 it just won't. It refuses to come out. <laughs> my no, my my. I remember being in the house and and uh, to be to be serious though, it's it's very similar to just you know. You need silence, and my neighbour in in London, she she would come. I remember I was I'd be writing, and and one day she's like, "Oh, we hear you all the time, you know, through the wall." I'm like, "What?" That's when I stopped writing in that house. I just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Killer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, she's under the patio (laughs) now. Oh yeah, of course, because you're you it's it. It's it's weird. It's you go into a little weird zone when you're when you're writing, and it's like you're almost dreaming, and you're totally in this little thing. And the, the thought that someone who's in who's in the 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 real world is listening in on that is is kind of weird. That's why studios. I love studios because even though people are there, and the best producers are like, they they they, they disappear when you do recordings. You know, they're just kind of like invisible people. Um, because really, I mean, at the end of the day, when you when you when you when you get the finished song, and this is why we called the third third album the Invisible Band. Bands, you know, bands come and go; they disappear. When it's when 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 it boils down to it, it's just you and a song. When you when you're the listener, and the band are just the thing that they're like the postmen that deliver this cool thing to you, and and, and then it belongs to you. At the end of our, at the end of November, we at last a year ago, I got at the Housing Works bookstore. I, I, my, my, I was here with her, my wife and my son, and I was carrying Clay a lot, my son, and I thought I pulled a muscle in my side. I was like, God, that's, go ahead, watch that. But actually, it was shingles, and from so from November to December, we went on this crazy trip to South America, and it was all like that. Had sh- the, the worst shingles through this. Shingles is like adult um, chicken pox and it is so crazily painful and then after that I got mad toothache and then so at the I remember phoning our, our, our manager up and I was like I'm not doing the tour I'm at set pull the tour we had the big American tour like all mapped out I was like pull it and he's like uh, you should what and I was like I just can't tour anymore I'm fed up and hacked off I'm feeling like I just want to stop and I'm not feeling well and um he's like oh okay and and then andy andy phoned up about a day later going fanny and i mean andy is you you're always you andy's as quiet as a mouse most of the time but we had this like uh slightly heated conversation where andy's like, what do you mean you want to cancel the tour this is good this is this is a great tour blah, blah, blah. so then after that conversation i have like sheepishly phoned their manager back up again i'm like can we can we can you stitch it back together? We lost loads of sh- like quite a few shows, and one of them we had two Webster Hall shows. Um, we ended up just doing one because it, the other one went, and um, but that was a good show, and it was a great tour, and I'm glad you well, talked me good, into it. I don't know. I'm, I I've I missed the A and R process. I kind of like A and R the A and R guy situation. It's something that I as a writer like to have. Is that a sounding board or someone who's like you know, do that or do this and uh 
you know. I think the thing is, it's, it's hard to see at the moment because there's so much smoke in the industry. You know, it's like sort of bits are crumbling, and it's. I think at the time when we were releasing Jay Smith, we just thought, well, it's best to stay outside of it at the moment because yeah. you couldn't see. You know, the the sparks and the dust are flying. You know, and I think in a couple of years' time it will settle down. And I think you know, there's place for record companies, and there's a place for Travis in them. You know, but just at that point there wasn't. And the canteen. Yeah. <laughs>